So um, I'd like to welcome Antoinette Bremer, who's with us today and has brought an amazing film to the European Film Festival. So welcome, Antoinette, and thank you for creating this uh, complex, layered, uh, incredible film. Uh, we want to thank you for that and also to say congratulations. I heard it opened up the Netherlands Film Festival. So kudos to you. That's amazing. So um, I'm going to go straight on to um, my father is an airplane and I want to know, we know that this is partially an autobiographical film and in that sense, I just think you're an amazing woman. You're an amazing director to put yourself out there. And that is extremely brave uh, and courageous. But what, what made you, what was the driving force to say, I have to tell the story? Why this particular story? Um, well, uh, it's a story that is uh, a part of my life uh, for uh, yeah, as long as I know. Uh, and uh, when I was uh, in uh, theater school, I tried to make a, a theater play out of it, but then I was uh, 24, 25, and it was way too uh, soon, and I was too young for it. Then when my, 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 my parents aren't uh, alive anymore, but when my father was still alive, he was uh, in a mental institution, and I tried to make a documentary about him, uh, because I really wanted to tell the story, and I thought that would is probably the best form uh, but that failed as well because that was uh, also not the right moment and also too close to my own life um, and I realized that if I would make a documentary it was supposed it, it was not about my father it will it was going to be about me about uh, how I could prevent becoming as crazy as as he was uh, and then I uh, thought I don't want to put the camera on me so I, I, I left it there um, and then in 2015 when I after I did uh, five uh, films in five five feature films in five years I decided it was uh, enough it was enough my, my mother uh, died in 2013 and I really needed to have a break and starting um, to uh, rethink my career, but also the way I was telling stories. And um, uh, so we moved from uh, the Netherlands to France uh, in a small house in the mountains and I uh, started to write and then I wrote a book. Uh, and I wrote a book on my father is an airplane because I really wanted to tell the story all by myself without a whole crew and without people interfering or without people saying, no, oh, but then she needs to be like uh, 25 or you, you can't make a film about a 40 year old woman or woman or whatever. So I really wanted to tell the story the way I wanted to tell the story, but I am a filmmaker and not a writer. I, although I, I wrote a book, um, my language is, um, is in images so when i was writing the book I, I saw the whole film in front of me so after i finished the book i thought yeah i i, I also need to make a film so it's and, and and this is where it ends i'm not going to make a musical or whatever something else out of it I, I, i'll keep uh, this but it's a long answer uh, are you still here was with yes me? yes that's oh, okay. incredible Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and I think that so on the one hand, this was your own personal, almost catharsis, right? Uh, but you also take us as your viewers through an incredible experience through the film. So mm -hmm. that is amazing, and I, I want you to, I want to thank you for that. Um, tell us a little bit about, about the about the title, uh, my father. I mean, I can see the resonances in the film itself and in the visuals, but where did you come up with that? I, I thought it was amazing and beautiful. Uh, well, it's a mix from different things and I'm not sure if, if that makes sense in English, but we have a, an expression and I thought actually it was an English expression. I'm not crazy, I'm an airplane. <laughs> uh, and uh, so that was one thing that I had in mind. Uh, I'm not crazy, I'm an airplane. And then um, the other thing was that um, my father is the same as the character, uh, is a flight attendant. And um, uh, so the, the airplane was uh, a big part of the story. Uh, and um, so then, then we came up with the idea, my father is an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, I thought it was an excellent title. So that that's wonderful. Um, I I when I viewed the film, you know, I'm very much an activist for uh, autism rights and disability rights, and um, I was looking at the portrayal of mental health, mm -hmm. and especially since we in COVID and uh, a pandemic and we'll say a world economic recession and there is a pervasiveness of loss of uh, jobs etc um there's a lot of mental ill health um did that uh, cross your mind when you uh, were telling the story uh, and your portrayal of mental ill health well i think it's an important story to tell and not only now to COVID, I think maybe um, it's an increasing uh, problem because a, a lot of people are lonely or uh, don't have connection anymore because they're so much uh, behind uh, like this, uh, com computers and not talking in, in, in real life. But um, in my own life uh, with friends and, and family and there is there's actually nobody that I know who doesn't have somebody in the family who is dealing somehow with mental um, uh, illness or questions about it. And illness is, is not the right word because I think it is something that uh, everybody uh, in life um, at a certain point um, uh, can lose uh, uh, the grip of uh, on the reality. It's not that you. For me, it's it's uh, different because I had a, a parent who was uh, institutionalized, and then uh, uh, as a uh, as a daughter, uh, I have a fifty percent a chance of having the uh, sort of the same problems. But even if it's not in your family, then uh, if, uh, I think uh, uh, that that the story is. Uh, for me, really important to tell that this can happen to everybody. Nobody is off the hook. You, you, you don't know what's happening in your life at a certain po moment that when you lose, uh, um, you can lose your job, you can lose your relationship, you can lose your house. There, there, there are so many things that can happen to you. And then you can also lose sort of your um, sanity for and but it doesn't mean you you are crazy for the rest of your life i mean it, it can happen and you can also heal from it and we do not uh, judge it so much and we shouldn't um, be so harsh on people who at a certain point in life um, have difficulties um, with um, anxiety or what Ever uh, uh, is is happening in their life that they need some 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 extra help and the help can be talking with a psychiatrist or maybe uh, uh, be um, hospitalized for a, for a while or get uh, anti uh, uh, depression medicine and I think um, we we are too too quickly judging people. Uh, and and uh, and it gives you a stigma for for the rest of your life. And why? Because uh, everybody, it, it can happen to everybody. For me, it was really important to cast the actress that I did uh, for this film because she's a, a comedian, and she never played something like that in her career yet. So people know her from the light genre and and from all kinds of comedies that she did so um she's a very commercial uh, a big commercial name in the netherlands uh and Thank i you. Yeah. and i and I, I thought it was really important to cast her so that she is like the the, the girl next door everybody mm -hmm. likes her and uh, everybody thinks okay if uh, for me it was important that people w would realize if it can happen to her then it can also happen to me Excellent. And I, and I think that that resonates and that's very clear in, in the storyline. Um, uh, what I also loved about the film is that it has these wonderful moments of uh, humanity mm. and, and lightness, which I thought was important as well. You know, that it wasn't just driving us down this really dark path of wanting mm -hmm. to confront one's past and one's demons. Um, and, and so just to get back to the point of mental ill health, um, uh, the, uh, I mean, he had a very dark, pervasively dark side to him, you know, 
and obviously to debunk that whole mental illness thing which is important what you have already told me that mental ill health happens to everybody we mm -hmm. need to normalize it and we can get the brain back into health so i think that that was important but that there was also reality of there having been people who have this extremely dark side who have the uh predilection to be violent uh, yeah I think. yeah um so so that too is real um can you speak to us a little bit um about uh the the film itself and your use of sound i thought that was quite incredible that you enhanced the natural sound and used music very strategically can you can you speak to us a little bit about that um yeah i think i w what we tried was to be really close to the the main character and and uh, and tell extremely through her eyes and i think if um i think uh, people who have anxiety or uh, uh sometimes have uh, uh, trouble with um um yeah i don't know the right word for it uh, uh it, it, it makes you really sensitive sensitive for sound sensitive for um uh, things around you for uh how people look at you at, 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 there's a sort of distance between you and the rest of the world so we try to make a soundscape uh that um was emphasizing that part that that she was um not really a part of life anymore but sometimes it uh the things that she did see were um hitting her uh, very hard uh like the nightmares and the and the and when she uh, suddenly saw uh, uh, uh images of her father uh and you bathing uh, the 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 the, the sound designer, um, the composer of the music, he never did a film actually. And he's, wow. uh, yeah, you should look him up on uh, Spotify. He has yes. like 20 million views of, of people uh, listening to his music. He's also now uh, nominated for the best music for um, wow. this film, as the film is also mm -hmm. just nom uh, nominated for the best film and the best actress. So that's really great. Congratulations, uh, yes, Anthony. It's yeah. so well deserved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. I just wanted to um, not not, not uh, saying oh, very good, uh, well done. But uh, the music is really well done. I, I I'm I'm really fond of uh, the the composer. I think he did a, a great job. And um, one of the things that I was also thinking about is the structure of the film. You don't give us a neatly uh, a neat structure. You know, mm -hmm. you, number one, you keep on taking us back from her past to the present and we see those uh the journey constantly through her eyes etc but you don't just give us a pat of neat ending and i thought well kudos to you you know that <laughs> life is messy <laughs> you know what yeah, i mean yeah. confronting life is 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 messy cuz and can you tell me a little bit about that you know what did you want people to go away with after having seen the film well i think my own story is that i want to forgive and um and 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 feel that uh, uh the the main character is being loved by her parents although mm. they weren't able to give her that um safe uh environment and i think i think that for me is the most important thing to 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 tell with this story that um they couldn't help it it's 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 not that they didn't love her uh it, it it's just that they the, the 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 mother is well she couldn't do it with her uh, because she was married to 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 him and he was mm. sick and and he was sick so um mm. so i think that that's that's very important and i'm glad you say that you like the ending because in the netherlands there are people um uh, I think the people who are more into um, art house films, yes. they say we don't need this ending the way it is. We don't need <laughs> the mother to say, um, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, protect you, you, you will forget it. Uh, and, uh, and, the, and, for, and for more commercial, for, for just a, mm. a, a wider audience, I, I think people need to, to hear those words. So. Um, I thought it was important to put them in, but I do also understand that you can understand it probably and feel it and maybe um, 
uh, think it yourself instead of me as a filmmaker uh, put in the words. And this is always a, st a struggle. Where do you tell too much and where do you tell <laughs> too little? Um, but yeah, Absolutely. this is the film and, and, uh, and, and it's finished. So I can't uh, re-edit it. <laughs> Sometimes I wish <laughs> I could. Um, but I, I want to congratulate you. I think we need to round up now, but I want to congratulate you on creating this very real, very uh, authentic, you know, uh, vision of the world. And I think that anybody who has experienced a kind of pain and hardship in their childhood and, mm -hmm. and are chasing demons in their adulthood, will, it would resonate with them very, very clearly. And yeah. so I want I to say, thank you and also that you left us with the message of hope it, you know we are human beings we need that right yeah well the, the, i think that was that is maybe the most important uh, message that i think you need sometimes you need to heal the things that happened uh, with you in the past you need to face them to to be connected in the in the present and as long as you if you didn't resolve those issues you can never really connect in the present so you you need to face the face the um the monster uh, and i think that's what uh, Ava did in this film oh, congratulations is there anything else you'd want to add before we wrap up no i'm i i i wish i i i was there when people are watching it because it's the first time that somebody outside the netherlands is gonna uh, see the film the film is going to be in cinema uh, this thursday so it's 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 just out there it's just out there it opened the festival last friday and uh, we got a good reviews but I hope it will translate as well in another country. And um, I hope people will try to find me at um, Instagram maybe and tell, tell what they thought. I would be really open for, um, for feedback. Thank you, Antoinette. And thank you for your brave, incredible woman filmmaking. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.